Hello everyone, my name is Brian Nettles and um, I just finished watching a little podcast by Dan from Latter-day Watch where he was talking about being able to see one of the birch bark scrolls. I too have been shown the birch bark scroll and explained a little bit about what's in it. I too was told that I cannot go into great detail of what I see. I can just talk about generalities of what I see. Um, but before I go into that, I wanted to point out some two pages from this book, The Traditional History of Characteristic Sketches of the Ojibwe Nation, written by George Copeway, and it was written, I believe, in around 1850s. So um, just go ahead and bear with me as I read through these two pages. You might find it very interesting, and this particularly is fascinating for those who believed that there were no written records among the Native American Indians because this basically blows that entire teaching out of the water as this was written in the 1850s. Most Indian nations of the West have places in which they deposit the records which are said to have originated their worship. The Ojibwe's have three such depositories near the waters of Lake Superior. Ten of the, I can't read it here, and most venerable of the nation dwell near these and are appointed guardians over them. Fifteen years intervene between each opening. At the end of this time, if any vacancies have been caused by death, others are chosen in the spring of the year, who about the month of August are called to witness the opening of the depositories. As they are being opened, all of the information known respecting them is given to the new members. Then the articles are placed before them. After this, the plates are closely examined, and if any have begun to decay, they are taken out. An exact facsimile is made and placed in its stead. The old one is divided equally among the wise men. It is very highly valued for having been deposited as a sacred article. Every fiber, every fiber of it is considered sacred, and whoever uses it may be made wise. It, it is considered efficacious for any good purpose it may be put. These records are written on slate rock, copper, lead, and on the bark of birch trees. The record is said to be a transcript of what the Great Spirit gave to the Indian after the flood and by the hands of wise men has been transmitted to other parts of the country ever since. Here is the code of moral laws which the Indian calls a path made by the Great Spirit. They believe that a long and prosperous life will be the result of obeying that law. The records contain certain emblems which transmit the ancient form of worship and the rules for the dedication of four priests who alone are to expound them. In them is represented how man lived happy in his wigwam before death was in the world, and the path he then followed marked out an example for those during the present time. Okay, I'm going to go over a couple of pages following this. You can see here on the next couple of pages, he shows some characters used in the picture writing. So um, what I see in the scroll is not these symbols, but they're like unto it. I've pointed out in the Michigan artifacts in the past how when you've got the line coming from the mouth, it indicates to speak, or the line come from, coming from the eyes, it indicates to see. So very interesting. The next page just has a couple more images for your viewing. Okay, now I'm just going to talk about what I see in this uh, scroll. Uh, the first thing I see, it, it, it has a hand, an imprint of a hand on it, which I'm told represents, I did it. I also see a mountain on it that has what is potentially the, the creator sitting at a throne. I see a serpent. And the serpent appears to be eating human-like spirits, like it's going after the spirits of the, the world. Since he's been cast out of the garden, he's going to do his best to consume and take over the spirits of man. I see various symbols in here. One of them is kind of like unto speaking as I pointed out on the book. But it seems to have symbols on it that probably represent what it's saying, and I don't know what they are. 
let's just say that there are symbols on here which are like unto the symbols that are in the book I just showed you, but they're not the same symbols. So they're symbols that were simply not taught in his book. And there's a, a small clump of symbols that almost look like letters, and I'm not certain what those letters indicate also. There is a bird on it. So let's just say I've, I've seen the birch bark scroll. There is a very sacred feel to it. Even though I don't know what it all indicates, it sounds like it's something to do with the, the garden. And I believe based on what I've read and now from what I see and the sacredness that I feel that, it's an, that, it is a, <laughs> that it is an important artifact. So we'll just leave it at that and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.